Hello. Welcome to the Detroit Experience. I'm an android and I'll be your hostess. Before we begin, let's make some adjustments to optimize your experience. These language settings were detected on your console. Are they correct? Please adjust your screen settings. Thank you. Now select your profile. When this sign is displayed, please do not turn off your console. You are now ready to begin Detroit. Remember, this is not just a story. This is our future. Oh, it just goes right in. I think we're at the part of the demo. Well, welcome to Detroit Become Human, everyone. know I did get like every single possible ending and I know what I was like missing a dwarf gurami we shall save it Just trying to gather information here. So, th the first bit, I guess, it's just going to be a repeat of the demo. Okay, John Phillips, Caroline Phillips, Emma Phillips. Gotcha. Oh, please, please, you gotta save my little girl. Wait. You're sending an android? All right, ma'am. You, you need to go. You can't do that. You... Why aren't you sending a real person? Jolie, that thing here! Keep that thing away from my daughter! Let me have a any second. I don't give a shit. My men are ready to step in. Just give the order. I'm here. Captain Allen, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. <laughs> it's firing at everything that moves. It already shot down two of my men. We could easily get it, but they're on the edge of the balcony. And if it falls, she falls. Do you know if it's been behaving strangely before this? Does it matter? I need information to determine the best approach. Has it experienced an emotional shock recently? Listen, saving that kid is all that matters. So either you deal with this fucking android now, or I'll take care of it. I understand what happened and save hostage at all costs. Well, we already know how to do this the, the best way. The one I originally got was the best possibility. All right, let's reconstruct. Deviant took the father's gun. Right. Oh. 
touchpad. <laughs> Connor has some pretty uh, boyish good looks for an investigative android. Okay, so the girl didn't hear the punch. Wait, sorry, um, we're basically repeating the beginning of the game. I'm sorry about that. I wasn't aware. It is. As, he, as I've shown you guys uh, in the demo, it is entirely possible for him to die right here, and then we can't do the rest of his story. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> it's so weird to think like that. All right. So. Gun hemorrhage. Sitting down. Father was holding something. Then he was shot, and what he was holding was tossed aside. Motive was they were going to be replaced. Pretty much the only way to avoid that is just like basically just go right out there. was there. Due to the fact that there's the fluid the androids are filled with, and he has burns on his hands, we know he was shot. And the gun... PL 600. He's an RK 800. What's the difference? I wonder. Maybe we'll find that out. All right, let's go out. Stay back! Don't come any closer, or I'll jump. I 
know you're angry, Daniel. But you need to trust me and let me help you. I don't want your help. Nobody can help me. All I want is for all this to stop. I just want all this to stop. He's losing blood. If we don't get him to a hospital, he's going to die. All humans die eventually. What does it matter if this one dies now? I'm going to apply a tourniquet! Don't touch him! Touch him and I kill you! You can't kill me! I'm not alive! I'm calling his bluff. Are you armed? Yes? I have a gun! Drop it! No sudden moves or I'll shoot! There! No more gun! I know you and Emma were very close. You think she betrayed you, but she's done nothing wrong. She lied to me! I thought she loved me. But I was wrong. She's just like all the other humans. Daniel, no! They were going to replace you, and you became upset. That's what happened, right? I thought I was part of the family. I thought I mattered. But I was just their toy. Something to throw away when you're done with. Listen. I know it's not your fault. These emotions you're feeling are just errors in your software. No, it's not my fault. I never wanted this. I love them, you know? But I was nothing to them. Just a slave to be ordered around. I can't stand that noise anymore. Tell that helicopter to get out of here! The situation is under control! There! I did what you wanted! I'm your last chance, Daniel! If you let it slip, they'll kill you! Let the hostage oh, go! You have no other choice! Everyone to leave! And I want a car. When I'm outside the city, I'll let her go. That's impossible, Daniel. Let the girl go, and I promise you won't be hurt. I don't want to die. You're not going to die. We're just going to talk. Nothing will happen to you. You have my word. Okay. I trust you. You lied to me, Connor. Basically, that's all Connor cares about, is if he's successful with the mission. As the various endings will show you. So this is the flow chart. Mission accomplished. Thank you. Sorry that it's a... Uh... Okay. Alright, so... Man, I hope this doesn't pop up right after every single one because... Uh... That kind of ruins the flow. World stats. Still 30%, but that may change. Okay, let's just continue.
AX400. This is the top of the range household assistant. It cooks 10,000 different dishes. Come on, Zoe, let's go. And diets. And handles the kids' homework. Elementary school. Good afternoon. Hi. Can I help? Wow. Honey, it looks amazing. This is exactly what we need. How much did you say it costs? At the moment, we're doing special promotions. He's looking around, too. And it comes with a two-year warranty for parts and labor. Painting, plumbing, gardening, repairs. At we'll night, it. it's <laughs> an excellent service. <laughs> if you'll just follow me, we'll process the order. So some of these are pre-owned. Oh, there's the Paul model, it looks like. There it is. It's a bit difficult getting it back in working order. Okay. It was really messed up. What'd you say happened to it again? <clears throat> the car hit it. Stupid accident. Ah. Uh, see. Anyway, that's not it's what as happened. good as new now. Except that we had to reset it. Meaning we had to wipe its memory. I hope you don't mind. That'll be fine. Okay. Did you give it a name? My daughter did. AX400, register your name. Kara. My name is Kara. That's her name, Valerie Curry. I could not remember her name. For the, the actress. I was telling everyone, she's just, she was the girl from the Clancy Brown, really? Minka Kelly. The, that's who uh, Jesse Williams had an affair with. Okay. Yeah. In my acting class, I'm telling everyone about this game because most of them don't play video games and I'm telling them that uh, you really ought to because uh, TV and film are taking cues from it. And they knew Jesse Williams' affair, but I was like, yeah, this is the game that's kind of responsible for it. <laughs> um. Yeah. I've never been to Detroit, so I don't know if this is quite accurate to how it looks. Granted, this is 20 years in the future. Interesting for a game to be taking place in Detroit. My job because of androids. Help me. Oh, this is gonna be like a xenophobic metaphor. That's nice. Secrets of Androids, how cyber life designs its androids to coexist with humans. Green Earth. Low temperature increased by three, deg three degrees since... Oh. So a recent U.S. census has found that as sea levels continue to rise and climate change leads to more and more extreme weather, America's once prosperous coastal cities are being deserted by the rich. Waterside real estate and once top attractions like Miami and Los Angeles are experiencing fright flight with wealthy residents opting for properties further inland or at higher altitudes. 
This is driving up prices in once rural areas and plummeting house values in previously desirable neighborhoods. Whilst this might sound like an opportunity for poor Americans to enjoy a new lifestyle, the reality is less attractive. Coastal properties are not just exposed to regular flooding, hurricanes, and other climatic weather. They're also suffering from urban flight with all the services and amenities following richer customers into new areas. Urban development specialist Arnold Waters calls the do this the donut effect, whereby the previous centers of coastal cities gets hollowed out. This census is just the latest example of how climate change is affecting American societies in ways previously not imagined, it was imagined, altering not only the face of our environment, but even the social fabric of our nation. Is this why Detroit's such a hot spot now? Okay. All right. Well, climate change is still happening. All right. Good to know America still hasn't gotten its act together. The mini paints is not this way. Well, rude. Hey, water. Okay, so there's personal miles. trainers. Five miles away from your goal. Oh, okay. That pretty much says it all. Ban androids. Androids ruin our country. We want jobs. Okay. Don't walk. What if I walk? I can't. I can't move him that way. Wait for green light. He's like programmed not to, I guess. Okay, it's green now. The light is green. Now cross the road. Sorry if I'm, anyone's getting sick. Best two fit. To use GPS. Go to Bellini Paints. So it's that way. Let me look around though. I'm enjoying that. It's interesting. Fun little world building. Hey, move it. You're scaring away my clusters. Okay. Who's speaking? Verified. Here is your order number 847. That will be 6399. Please confirm payment. Payment confirmed. Transaction complete. So, is there anything else to take a look at? It's quite a simple little art store. I wanted to switch camera angle. Oh, what movies? These are always kind of fun to look at. Okay, Raken, The Last Guardian, Invasion, After Man. Kind 3021. Anna Maverick and the Lost Kings. Gotcha. 
fascinating. What are these? Oh, temporary parking? Uh, okay, so like if you go out to eat, you can don't want your Android to accompany you, just leave him there. Fascinating. It's amazing they would be sophisticated this sophisticated in twenty years, thinking about it. I think that Android Osimo can't even walk properly still, so <laughs> I wanted to cause problems. Hmm? Hey guys, check it out. We got one of those tin cans here. Look at this little motherfucker. You steal our jobs, but you can't even stand up. Fuck your bitch ass up. Yeah, waste it. Do it! Alright. That's enough. Leave it alone. Let us teach this bastard a lesson. Does he have an Irish accent? Damage it, I'm gonna have to find you. We can take your job next. Let's see how you like it. Okay. Let's go. Run along. It is a metaphor. Hmm. <laughs> I knew that, but still, it's pretty blatant. They really did a good job with the facial capture. It's always kind of looked weird in games, but it looks really good here. Look, shades of color, so it is gonna be popping up, that's great. So, walking in the park, read Secrets of Androids, read Climate Change Up. I didn't read the Secret of Androids though. So we stared at the hot dog vendor, nothing happened there. We pretty much just Went straight through, except for like the protesters harassing us. All right, let's move on. even bother to help us out of the car. Join Todd. You coming? Assuming you're Todd. You've been gone for two weeks, so the place is a mess. You do the housework, the washing, you cook the meals, and you take care of God damn it, where the fuck's the brat gone now? Alice! 
Alice! Oh, there you are. That's Alice. You look after her. Homework, bath, all that crap. Got it? Yes, Todd. Get started down here, then you do upstairs. So collect trash, collect dishes, activate vacuum cleaner, check the backyard. All right. TV on. Sorry, it's, the controls are always a little wonky. Yeah. Maybe. Depends on what you need. Yeah, yeah. I can get that. Yeah, yeah. I'll bring it tomorrow. Yeah, same place. You know, you know that. They look like they should be heavy, but she picks them up so lightly. I mean, I figure she would be strong, but wait, hold on. Oh, they're in debt. Okay, well, I'm not kind of, I'm not surprised by that. I can afford an Android, but your house is in shambles. The, one was the vacuum and check the backyard. Fuck, man. Collect dishes, activate vacuum cleaner, check the backyard. What the? Not working. Oh, he's getting high. Gotcha. I thought she was looking at the magazine. I didn't realize the dishes were there. All right. Let's play menial tasks. Wait, okay. So heavy rain. Remember when you were just like setting the plates and then like you had to set the plates so gently? Alice. Yes, Todd? Bring me a cold beer! Right away. A lot of mayonnaise. Looks like it's an actual game. I noticed there was like a grocery list or something. 
Okay, I guess we're done with the dishes. Where's the vacuum cleaner? I'm gonna do it all. This place is gonna be spotless. Poor kid. Is there like a Roomba? Read there. That's what I wanted to do. So it's sports. Android Power, should it be outlawed? In its third game of the season, Android picture, Pitcher X67 threw a pitch that broke the 120 mile per hour mark. The human batsman wasn't able to swing until after the ball had already reached the catcher's glove. Androids were introduced as a one-per-team innovation, but they've come to dominate team strategies. Every draft sees the major professional baseball teams breaking their own transfer records to purchase these latest Android models, but is the game suffering? Jenny Waterfield, head of Fanzine Home Run, says fans are becoming disenchanted. The magic of sport is seeing the limits of human potential. A machine breaking these kinds of records just isn't exciting or even surprising. But not everybody agrees. Christopher Lennox, a baseball pundit and ex-pitcher, thinks androids are making games more exciting. These machines are shaking things up and pushing players to do even better. The game can only survive by evolving. Okay. The transport innovation that's shaking up California. Are American senators really corrupt? Yup. Connecting the dots, the transport innovation that's shaking up California. The new sub tube completed its first journey today from Manhattan to downtown LA in under two hours. Wow. Less than half the five hour flight time. The top speed of 1,800 miles per hour was made possible because the tube travels through a depressurized chamber, providing a near frictionless environment for its magnetized motors. For commuters, this raises the tantalizing prospect of finishing a long shift in the Big Apple and putting your feet up on the Golden Coast. I mean, that's even less time than the time zone difference. Hold on. The transport innovation, okay, California's property make, markets are reacting, suburban, are reacting. Suburban prices have skyrocketed 64%. LA realtor Charlene Lowe says she knows where the new buyers are coming from. They're East Coast types, specifically New Yorkers. They see a chance to keep that NYC salary whilst enjoying an LA lifestyle, and they're scrambling over each other to take advantage. Real estate isn't the only thing shaking up. School places are rapidly filling and suburban retailers are racking up prices in anticipation of all of those New York dollars flooding in. Longtime Californians are expected to be pushed out from the cities, which is why they've been protesting the new line. As one angry demonstrator put it, first Detroit takes our jobs, then New York takes our homes. When's it gonna end? Oh, sorry, you Silicon Valley nerds. All right. Where's the vacuum cleaner? Alice. Oh, Alice in Wonderland. Out of the way, for fuck's sake! I'm sorry, Todd. It won't happen again. All right. Is, is that... I, I'm assuming that's Clancy Brown playing Todd. Okay, is that it right there? Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here! I'll get back to work. I'm just trying to find the vacuum cleaner. This is it. Alright, so let's check the backyard. God, what a treasure Alice, this, this is. Alice! You better stop that right now! Why is she always pushing me? Always pushing. 
Oh, please do not make me feel for Todd at any point in this game. My god. Alright, so take down laundry. Oh, I used to do this in Japan, hang up my laundry. I bet she can fold a shirt perfectly. Rewash laundry. Are there some jeans? When did you take down the jeans? Are you going to school today? It's not very nice out. You might catch cold. I could get you a sweater if you want. Camera. Gotta be cinematic. Let us dump the whole thing in. What the? Oh. Red ice. You shouldn't mess around with my stuff. It makes me nervous. I'm sorry, Todd. You stay the fuck out of my business. Unless you want to piss me off. You want to piss me off? No, Todd. We have completed all of that. I've made a good start down here. I'll head upstairs. Do what you have to do, but stop bothering me. Okay, why, why? Camera angles are obnoxious. All right. Was it AX four hundred? Yeah. Trying to figure out what it means. So tidy Todd's room. Let's read his magazines. They're totally not, you know, for sports. All right. Android QB Cyberlife unveils its Android quarterback. American football has largely resisted the spread of Android players, with top-tier games still an exclusively human affair. But that might be about to change, following CyberLife's recent unveiling of technical demo QB1000, an Android quarterback capable of throwing from end zone to end zone and hitting a target six inches wide. The model is also programmed with over 1,500 plays from classics such as bootlegs and handoffs to more specialized maneuvers, all of which can be adapted in real time. QB1000 was revealed at a recent CyberLife exhibition in Detroit where the Android manufacturer showed a variety of prototypes designed to show the potential of bleeding-edge technology. But while CyberLife's latest innovation has some fans drooling, Roy Kinstone, founder of the anti-Android fan group, sees a sinister aspect. 
CyberLife know exactly what they are doing with this demonstration. They hope to distort our sport the same way they have all the others. Despite these reservations, some consider this simply a matter of time. With basketball and baseball already contemplating Android players, a LED sporting QB might be just around the corner. Okay, it seems it, I wanted to do next. The Price of Life, How Driverless Vehicles Make Life and Death Decisions, Space Tourism, Is Mars Your Next Holiday Destination? When a driverless vehicle foresees an accident, the car's computer makes life and death decisions. For example, deciding which of two pedestrians to hit, okay, but the exact process by which cars make these decisions is not very well understood. God damn. Martin Forlong of Crown Cars tries to clarify, in these situations, the car's imaging system gathers data to determine the pedestrian's age, gender, life expectancy, etc. in the blink of an eye. <laughs> this is, oh, it's not good to have machinists judge and jury. This data is parsed through the public record to determine marital status, employment record, life expectancy, and whether they have children. The car then assigns a value to each possible victim based on criteria like their contribution to society. We put a premium on lives that will save other lives, like doctors and nurses. This is messed up. All this may sound very reasonable, but Felix Gamble, head of Anti-Automation League, AAL, says the system has no right to make such judgments. I agree. I totally agree. Somebody with a criminal record is not necessarily less valuable to society than a doctor. That kind of information is irrelevant to the sanctity of human life, especially when, you know, how, like, racist our justice system is. But for long dismisses such claims. We want our cars to make the best possible choices, and that means acting on the basis of all the information they can gather. The more, the better. Mm-mm-mm. All right. He's on antidepressants. Oh, that's just even better. Sorry, that's my phone. It's just an email, it looks like. Okay. Oh, often beneficial. That's just fantastic. I hope these tutorial cues can go away. Alice is back upstairs. Okay. Okay. Ah, uh, sorry. So he's looking for a sex spot now. That makes her nervous. All right, so we need to ventilate the room. That means turn on the air or open a window. to sports. First up, basketball. As the gears prepare for the Oh, they got the little animations again. I don't want to spend time on that, but they are enjoyable. 25,000 jobs were lost from the US economy in October, according to the Department of Labor, bringing the unemployment figure up to 37.3. Wow. President Warren spoke today at the opening of a new CyberLife plant near Milwaukee. At the event, the president again praised CyberLife's role in the exceptional performance of the U.S. economy. All right. Don't want to waste too much time on that. Oh, sorry. All right, airing his musty room out. Watch it.
clean bathroom, clean restroom. Okay. Arrange bottles, store dirty clothes. Okay, so we finished the optional tasks. Let's go into Alice's room. I just want to tidy up your room a little. I only need two minutes. Is that okay, Alice? Why is she scared? Sweet little doodles. It's locked. Alice in Wonderland. Of course. I feel for you, little girl. Alright. Oh! Talk to Alice. If I can get this working. I'm sure we used to be friends before I was reset. Maybe we can be friends again. You should tell me about yourself. What you like to do, where you like to go, your favorite foods. That would really help me. Your father said you chose my name. Kara, it's nice. How did you choose it? You're very quiet. I hope I don't scare you. I didn't want to ask about her mother. I didn't want to upset her. Consider it. Things seem happier there. He looked better. What the? Was she injured?
does seem like they do have emotional responses, whether or not that's intentionally programmed. It's hard to say, at least at this point in the game. What are you doing? I I'm playing. You're playing. I know what you're thinking. You think your dad's a low life? Huh? Fucking loser? Can't get a job, take care of his family? Don't you think I tried to make things work? But whatever I do, when someone comes along, they just fuck it all up! I know what you think of me. You hate me. You hate me, don't you? Say it! You hate me! God. What am I doing? I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know I love you, don't you? You know I love you. Okay. Well. All right, so... I'm going to end the first video here. Um, one, one good thing about... Okay, we did 100% of this. Wow. I guess it's not hard. Um, but... Um, I wasn't going to say public opinion is un indifferent towards androids. Is that it? Um, at least, you know, one good thing of seeing this is that I can stop the videos pretty easily and continue on to the next part of the game simply so let's see here let's see the world stats yeah so most people did tidy up the pills some didn't some didn't read the putting a price uh a lot of people didn't disturb todd and i guess a lot of them didn't do the optional ones so just making Don mad oh goodness all right I don't think my friends are playing this right now all right well that is it for now for Detroit uh, become human I always want to say beyond human uh, that's not right <laughs> so so far so good it looks great um kind of interesting that you know Connor could be pretty much out of the game. I wonder how that affects the story as it moves on. And I'm very interested to see where this goes. Okay, well, let me know what you thought in the comments, and I will see you very soon. Thank you for watching.